Peace and blessings. Thank you for coming with us today. We're going to worship. Thank you. Work and worship. They're all the same words. We're going to enjoy ourselves and we're going to have a beautiful 2012 farming and gardening season. Thank you. such a beautiful crowd and um, I'm hoping that you all feel as good and excited about this event as I do today and hungry. We have some very, very good food that has been prepared to us by the YMCA. When we come back, when I come back from Florida, well, this won't be here. None of this will be here. This entire garden is going to be plowed up and a whole new garden is going to be planted. Check out our ambassador, agriculinary ambassador Zaza, live and direct in the heart of Jacksonville, doing her thing. Yes, my thing. My thing. All praises do. And I'm not going to call the name of the person that I give all praise to out here right now. That's a private thing. But I will say all praises do. But I have to at this time give praise to my grandmother. My grandmother taught me all about the earth and extrapolating food from the earth. Emma Louise Bennett, and she taught me the love of the oh, earth. Okay, all right. Okay. It's all about the health. So uh, tell us, why is it necessary for you to do this hard, hard work out here? And when you could be inside watching the television. And be bored to death watching the television? You know, workship, worship. is about work. <laughs> it's all about work. It's all about work. First, we need to love our work. We need to love what we do. What we do. Mm -hmm. And then we'll don't do always what you don't love. enjoy working. We'll work at the drop of a dime. Mm -hmm. I'm always ready to work. So we're in the right place at the right time. But my presentation is totally about community gardening. And I have a few little things that I would like to say that I didn't get a chance to put on my video. One of the things that I didn't get a chance to say on my video present presentation is when we first go out into the garden, before you do anything, first we need to give thanks. Before you touch the soil, before you touch the tools, give thanks. We can't do anything successfully if we don't Everybody that. knows that I know. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the people that don't know. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's talk and about And we can't believe everything that we read. Sure so the best thing for us to do is to grow our own food and make sure that you plant your food in very nutritional soil. That's why I'm making up a recipe here. Uh -huh. Then we'll know. That's knowing that you can believe and read the package where it says uh -huh. ingredients, but you're just a believer. <laughs> if you want to know, grow it yourself. Second of all, we need to stretch. We need to stretch our bodies. We need to put our hands up to the sky. We need to move around. Circulate those muscles because if you don't, when you wake up the next day, you might not even be able to get out of bed. You think all of her has visitors. <laughs> so make sure that you stretch. The other thing that I would like to say is work and worship. I say that they're all the same word. Work and worship. I Google the word. Google said it's not. They said worship is a separate word and work is a separate word. I disagree, they're not always right. Webster is not always right. But work and worship is the same word. You get the same results from, from both of those words. So always feel real good when you go out there. Get yourself uh, in good spiritual shape 
when you go out there and you'll get very, very it takes teamwork to make a dream work. Mm. Right. And we're working with a great team. And when you go out in your garden, take somebody with you sometimes. Mm -hmm. And teach somebody a little bit of something every time you go out there. And you'll find, you'll find, you'll have a better yield. So I want you to enjoy yourself. I have just a few minutes of video that I would like to share with you. Uh, I have a real big one that will be available for you at the end of this event. But right now I just want to share a few minutes with you. And there are some people, in, there are some real movie stars in this audience. And you'll see them. And I want to give thanks to all of you all in advance for sharing all the smiles with us. We've got some real movie stars here. And <laughs> yeah, I thank you. <laughs> his method of feeding the multitude. That's how, because once you take, once you make that croquet, it looks like a little, but once you get through making it, you have so much of it, you'd be like, man, I didn't mean to make this much of it, you know, because of that flour. Oh, so you, you, you know about cooking, too. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this brother said he knows about cooking. Now, you not only know who you are, you know about cooking. Uh, How do you know a black so, so you don't want to believe, you want to know. You want to I be was attracted to take the camera all the way around and I wanted to see this because I know it was going to be a sight to behold. Beautiful. Container gardening. You don't need a lot of land to do some do container gardening. And I've learned how to do all these things for myself and care for myself. And also I can do the same for you because I love my brothers and sisters. I love the work. And I would like to teach you how to work and how to love the work. It's a beautiful thing. That's worship. And I try to worship every day, some fashion or form, some fashion, shape or form, worship. Worship. Workship. Workship. And you don't have to wait to Sunday to do it. You can do it seven days a week. Or Saturday. Sat it don't even matter what day it is. And that's why I like Mary J. Bly's song. She says 25-8. I love it. 25, because I've always said there's not enough hours in a day. There's not enough days in a week. But she got it. She got it right. She asked for it and she got it. She said 25-8. All right then. <laughs> okay. Peace. Peace.